Okay, here's a quick explanation of what uh, P-E ratio is. Let's assume you've got two companies. You've got one company called Pie in the Sky and you've got another company called Down to Earth. Pie in the Sky is trading at a pound. Down to Earth is trading at five pounds. Now, on the face of it, down to earth is more expensive than pie in the sky. It's got a, sh a higher share price. Uh, it's higher by four pounds. But that doesn't give the full story because we know that down to earth has earnings per share, that's EPS, of one pound uh, each year or in the current year. And pie in the sky has earnings of a penny. Now, when we look at valuations, we can see that we're paying a lot more for Down to Earth than we are for Pie in the Sky. If we take the share price of Down to Earth, which is £5, and we divide it by the earnings per share, uh, which we said was £1, we get a value of 5. So the P-E ratio for Down to Earth is 5. However, with Pie in the Sky, the uh, share price is um, one pound. We divide that by the earnings per share, which is just a penny. And so that gives us a PE of 100. So although the share price of pie in the sky is lower than the share price of down to earth, the valuation, uh, which is the PE ratio, is 20 times higher. So this company is 20 times more expensive than down to earth. Why does that happen? Well, markets uh, assign uh, a PE ratio to a company based on what the expectation is. Now, down to earth is probably a utility company or a tobacco company, a company that isn't expected to have um, large earnings growth. Uh, and so it's assigned a lower PE ratio uh, than pie in the sky, which is probably some kind of new technology company, although it's only earning uh, 1p a year at the moment, so its earnings per share are one penny, investors are hoping and expecting that that is going to go up to 50p next year and that would bring the PE ratio down. So they are pricing in an expectation which is why that earnings, uh, that PE ratio is so high. Now if you look at times in the market where you've had bubbles like the, um, the dot-com boom, you would see that multiples, which is a way of referring, referring to PE, multiples were much much higher uh, and you often saw multiples of 100, 200, I remember seeing you know four or five hundred uh, and it's a very good gauge of how much you're paying for a company, what the valuation is, and what the market expectation is for that company. Uh, another way uh, of valuing a company is to look at something called the PEG, which includes the growth expectation. And that then provides a way of uh, comparing companies that have different growth rates. We'll have a look at that in another video. But that was just a, a brief explanation of PE ratio.